freezer, man. The fuck? Ninety day grind like I'm Cookie Trail for all my niggas looking down from heaven. I'm gonna give you hell. Took a major loss, but I'm a boss about it. Some shit done popped off, but I can't talk about it. A nigga play with me, we ain't gonna talk about it. They gonna find his body in his hood with some talk around. It. Always making plays, got some shit in motion. Forty for this AP. I What's good, YouTube? It's your boy C Dub, two times now. Back again with another video for y'all, man. And today, me giving y'all a little freshman advice. You know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be my little twist on it. You know what I'm saying? Be telling like from the boys' point of view. You know what I'm saying? If you a female watching this, go hit up Yana TV because she she did her point of view on the girls' point of view. You know, she did hers on the girls. I mean, mostly it was kind of boys too, but her main, you know what I'm saying, type was about the females. So if you a female watching this, go hit up Yana TV. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to her. She doing her thing. But yeah, further ado, let's get into this, man. So, number one. These not in order, so I'm just saying, if I send them one or two, these not in order, so I'm gonna take it like that. So look, man, I'm gonna point thing. First day, freshman, do not come here wearing no bullshit. Like, don't wear no bullshit. Like, don't wear no, like, matching outfits, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, like, matching, I'm talking about, is we got no motherfucker, motherfucker, green Nike shirt, green Nike shorts, green Nike socks. No. In a boot bag in the match? No. Do not come in wearing that bullshit because if you do, they gonna yak your ass. They gonna get on your ass. They really gonna get on you. And you don't wanna remember your first freshman day they got on your ass because you wore some bullshit. So don't, please, do not wear no bullshit. Do not wear no bullshit on your first day. Please. I'm warning y'all. Tell you, if you come in to get on your ass, like, look, see, Dub told y'all, don't, don't wear no bullshit, man. <laughs> you heard here first. Don't wear no bullshit. So look, second thing, man. Don't be no class clown. Don't try to impress people. Act in the ass. Like, don't do that. That shit is not sweet at all. Because what's the point of being a class clown? I mean, that shit gonna get you a little spot in the yearbook probably, but it's just dumb as fuck. Like, you getting kicked out of class just being dumb. Like, I don't find that shit funny or none of that. I mean, you could you could be cool, you know what I'm saying? You could joke around, but it's like, motherfuckers be doing it to a certain extent to get kicked out of class, doing some bullshit. Like, don't do that. Please don't do that. And the other thing is like, you gotta get your work done. You gotta get your work done. Especially like if you play a sport. But in general, you get your work done though. Like, all that other stuff coming, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna be, half ass and doing your work, doing all this other stuff, so you gotta get your work done. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get your work done. Cause if you don't, hey, your grade, not mine. So get your work done. Study for your tests too, cause you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all teachers be trying to hit y'all with these tests first week. So, I don't know, I heard, you know what I'm saying? Study, even if you, even, you know what I'm saying? You got a big test, even if like, y'all got to a little, OSTs, not OST, whatever the fuck y'all got. Y'all stuff is different from ours, you know what I'm saying? I'm in TPS, but yeah, so study for your tests, do all this other stuff, and most important, you know what I'm saying? You gotta involve yourself. Like when you're in high school, you gotta get involved. You can't be a boring ass freshman. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get involved first thing. You gotta get involved, you gotta get yourself in clubs, you know what I'm saying? At my school, you know what I'm saying, they got Avid, Decca, and it's like all these other like different clubs, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta get yourself involved. You can't be boring. You can't be they be like, hey man, what you doing? I ain't doing nothing, man. I ain't doing good. And involve yourself. Like these four years, the rest of these four years is gonna determine how you gonna be in the future. But not like that, but it's like it's gonna play up to the part of that, you know what I'm saying? Because your freshman year is the most important year ever. Like, that's when you really gotta be on your shit. Because if you don't, that shit gonna catch up to you when you like a junior or a senior. You're gonna be like, damn, I wish I should've did this my freshman year. It's gonna be too late, bro. So shit, you gotta get on your shit now. You know what I'm saying? Even like, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're not into the club, you know what I'm saying? Play a sport. You know what I'm saying? Football, basketball, shit. They got, at my school, they got bowling, motherfucking swim team. You know 
know what I'm saying? Track. You know what I'm saying? Get involved, do all these different sports, you know what I'm saying? And shit, do that shit. Don't be no boring ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get yourself involved. And next thing is, you gotta get your points. Points for your test. You gotta get your points because if you don't get your points, I don't know what school y'all in, but in my district, like TPS, you gotta have, what, 18, 18 points to graduate. It don't matter if you get all A's and B's, 4.0 GPA, 5.0, you know what I'm saying? But if you ain't got them points, you ain't gonna graduate. So you gotta start off with your toe points. Now you gotta get all your points. You know what I'm saying? You can't be playing around, you know what I'm saying? Cause motherfucker be, bro, this is just fresh I can retake. No, bro, you can't do retakes, but shit. I ain't about to keep retaking all these damn tests cause motherfuckers wanna fool around, you know what I'm saying? I ain't about to do all that. I'm about to get the shit out of the way, you feel me? So shit, like I said, if y'all need help with some of y'all little subjects, go to tutoring, you know what I'm saying? And get better. There ain't nothing wrong with tutoring, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker be like, I ain't trying to stay out to school. I got better shit to do. Oh shit, man. <laughs> if it was me, I was in my ass after school. I need help with this, this, and this. I'm trying to graduate, you feel me? But, yeah, man, get your points, man. Get your little test points so you graduate. Man, this the most. This next thing here, man, it's like, I heard, you can't get this. Like, I don't know what y'all got to school, but we got big. Like, I never had big, so I can't tell you what it's like. But trust me, I heard some motherfucking stories about that big. That big ain't no... Joke, I'm telling you. I mean, I'm telling you this. That's no joke. You know what I'm saying? If y'all are watching this, y'all on TPS, man, y'all know what that big like. I never had big. You know what I'm saying? I never had big in my life. So I don't know what that's like, but yeah, man, I heard some stories about that big. It's like, if y'all don't know what big is, it's like, you get, I think you get like four lakes, four or five lakes to your first time. Any class, any class, not just your first hour class. It's like you get four or five lakes, they hit you with big. I think you get two days off the rip. And big is like in school, ISS, in school suspension, whatever, whatever that is. But it's like that. It's like you write penalties, everything. Like you do all this other, man. They say you write like five, six penalties a day. Like, no. And then you eat lunch before everybody, like before A, B, and C lunch. Like you eating breakfast, money. And you done for the day. Like, that is so horrible to have. Like, I never had it. I don't, but well, motherfuckers tell me, I don't want to experience big at all. So, yeah. So, don't get big. You know what I'm saying? Stay on your shit. And most important, this, like, this right here is just the most important. Not just for your freshman year. It's for your freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. You know what I'm saying? Even, you know what I'm saying, coming in, you got to keep your circle small. I'm telling you, like, you gotta keep your circle small because motherfuckers you surround yourself with might not even fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? They might not, you know what I'm saying? They probably make it seem like they fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta keep your circle small because motherfuckers be talking about you, talking about you to other motherfuckers then they be in your face, you know what I'm saying? Having all that fakeness, bro. You gotta keep your circle small because, yeah, motherfuckers is real grimy out here. So you gotta keep your circle small. And it's like, yeah, you gotta just keep that small, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta involve yourself around these whole bunch of people just to, you know what I'm saying, get them to like you, man. You gotta have, like, you shouldn't worry about if somebody like you or not, you know what I'm saying? So, that don't even matter. So, yeah. And all, and this one, this for all my athletes. All my athletes, man. You gotta get cool with the coaches. Get cool with the coaches. Like before, like say like you a freshman, that summer you should be already. Like if you play basketball, get into the summer league. You know what I'm saying? Play summer ball with them. Just before your freshman year. So that way when the season rolls around, they go, oh yeah, we know how you play, you know this and this and that, you know, because if you if you go in, if you don't get in contact with none of your coaches, you just go to open gyms and tryouts, he ain't gonna know nothing about you unless you really crispy like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what I did though. I ain't never gonna lie to y'all. I ain't talking no coaches to the summer going in my freshman year. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know nothing about summer league ball. I ain't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? Open gyms came around. I just balled. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like LeBron out there, you feel me? I ain't not like LeBron. Yeah, I was doing my thing though. 
cousins, like, what's your name? You know what I'm saying? Told me my name, this and this and that. And just, see, I was on the team my freshman year, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna say my freshman year on the basketball team for another video because boy, that was so wild, man. It was so wild, but yeah, I'm gonna say that for another video. But yeah, get cool with your coaches, you know what I'm saying, so they know how you is. So that way, I ain't gonna say you gonna have a guaranteed spot, but it's no, they gonna know how you is, you know what I'm saying, they gonna know how you play, you know what I'm saying, not just for basketball, football too, you know what I'm saying. No, football, they'll take anybody, you know what I'm saying. They take anybody. They be like, oh yeah, you, you know how to tackle? You know how to do this? Go ahead and get you a helmet. You know what I'm saying? They throw you a helmet. But yeah, but yeah, but with y'all hoopers, getting cool with y'all coaches. Play summer ball. Do all of that, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Cause if y'all trying to start y'all career off, high school, trying to play college, you know what I'm saying? They get cool with the coaches. You know what I'm saying? Don't I'm not trying to say what I'm saying. Be up the coach's eyes, you know what I'm saying? Cause my foot ain't gonna like that shit. But yeah, get cool with the coaches. Do what you're supposed to do. Ball out, even for y'all football players too, man. You know what I'm saying? Get cool with the coaches, you know what I'm saying? So you don't know what they could do for you, you know? Just get cool with them. But the most important thing is next thing right here is just be your own leader, man. You gotta be your own leader. You know what they say? Lead by example. You know what I'm saying? That shit probably not gonna matter y'all cause y'all in high school, but that shit really does matter, bro. Like, you gotta be your own leader, you know what I'm saying? You can't be following these other motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what they might be in, and you know what I'm saying? You pick up their habits cause you following they doing, and you try to do this, and it's not gonna work for you how, like, how it's working for them, you know what I'm saying? You gotta just be your own leader, do what you do best. Don't try to do what they do because in the long run, it's gonna, you gonna end up getting in trouble, locked up, Doing all this other dumb stuff because you want to follow what the what they doing. You know what I'm saying? So don't do that. Be your own leader, especially you know what I'm saying. You ain't coming freshman because a lot of these motherfuckers gonna tell you all oh, you need to do this because in my freshman year I know no do not listen to what they got to say because obviously they not in a good spot if they talk. You know what I'm saying? I mean you know what I'm saying some. Some upperclassmen might give you good advice, you know what I'm saying? Take that, you know what I'm saying? Learn from it, but I'm saying, like, you gotta be your own leader. Be your own leader, don't follow nobody, don't ride nobody's wave, none of that. Don't do none of that, I'm trying to tell you. And this is, man, this right here is just, I find it funny, cause it's a lot of people that do this. Like, not, this is not even for freshmen, this is like freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors, man. Like, if y'all got a female, if y'all gotta if y'all hit a female, y'all know what I'm talking about hit. Y'all do the whoop 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 boom You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. Y'all ain't talking. Yeah. If y'all do that, man, y'all brag. Y'all brag about you know what I'm saying? Y'all brag about what y'all be doing with these females, man. Like do not do not brag about these females because do not brag about these females. Because in the long run. What good, like, what good is it gonna have you bragging about these females y'all hit? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, don't put females out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I hit her, and she was this and that, she easy, and then other men be trying to, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that, bro. Like, that's, don't do that. you get no cool points for that. <laughs> that's just, mm -mm, don't do that. Man. And next thing, man, don't gossip. Do not gossip about drama. This for y'all females too. Y'all females love to gossip, but I know some couple, couple niggas that that like to gossip about female drama, and that's mm -mm, that's so crazy. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Don't gossip because motherfuckers ain't gonna like that. You gossip, they gonna wanna fight. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know a lot of people. You gossip. I mean, they ain't gonna care, but it's like. You telling everybody, then everybody gonna start being an A bed. They like, dog, bro, what's going on? What you doing all this gossip for? You know what I'm saying? They gonna wanna fight. <laughs> so I'm saying, like, if you wanna gossip, you better know how to fight. But still, gossiping, that's not cool. That's not cool putting people, people with business out there. You know what I'm saying? Next thing is, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be cordial. You gotta be cordial with people because you never know what you might need from these people in the long run. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be cordial with everybody. Not everybody, you know what I'm saying? But like people, like you just gotta be cordial with people. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta just be cool with people. 
best because you never know what you might need from that one person. You know what I'm saying? If you dogging this one person out, say like you freshman, you cracking on this one dude, this smart dude, you know what I'm saying? And like going to junior year, you in the same class with the smart dude. And you might need help. You might still remember it. Like, damn, man, freshman year, you was just, you know what I'm saying, trying to talk about me, embarrass me in front of these people. Now you need my help? Nah, I ain't gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Be, just be nice to people. Like, it's not that hard, you know what I'm saying? All that cracking and all that other stuff. I mean, it's funny, but some of y'all be going overboard, and that's not even cool. So, yeah. So. And this, the, and this next thing right here, this is the most important thing. Most important thing. Do not, I repeat, do not rush into no relationship. Cause these school relationships are not gonna last. It's probably not even gonna last probably a month. Because once you are in a relationship, y'all get to post on social media, man. And that's another big thing too. Y'all in a relationship, don't don't have your relationship evolved around social media because that will mess your relationship up. I'm telling you, do not do that. Do not do that. Cause if you do that, you set your own self up for failure. Don't do that at all. And yeah, man, do not rush in no relationship. Cause you know what I'm saying? No, they know if they say time waits for nobody, but still, you can't rush into no relationship. Especially if a female not sure about if she wanna be with you or not. You know what I'm saying? Don't rush into no relationship. Especially in school relationships. Cause you know how that can get. One minute y'all this. One minute y'all that. Rumors going around. Then bam. There it goes. So with. Just like that. In the herd. So. Don't rush into no relationship. Don't do nothing like that. And most important. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep your grades up. You know. Especially if you play sports. Like. In my. In my district, they you gotta pass five classes to play a sport. That's any sport. You gotta pass five classes. And what? Have higher than a what? 2.0, I think. I think it's 2.0. It's 2.0. Yeah, man, you gotta keep your grades up, especially if you play sports, cause ain't no college ain't gonna want no dumb athlete. True. That's ain't gonna want no dumb athlete. You could be the next Michael Jordan, but if your grades ain't right. They don't want you, bro. Grades first. That's why they call you a student athlete. You a student first, athlete second. So keep y'all grades up, man. And yeah, like and then next, this next thing is really dumb, but I just have to say this: like, don't get into no fights to prove yourself. You know what I'm saying? Some people can take that peer pressure. That's what that is. Like somebody could be talking shit. You know, instigators too, they be around. Muffin be talking shit about you. Oh, I bet you won't you bet you won't hit him though. Cause y'all y'all ain't gonna fight about it. Y'all ain't gonna fight about it. And all this other bullshit. And then if you don't fight, they gonna be like, oh you soft, so and my you know what I'm saying, yo my you gonna be like, damn, they probably think I'm soft, so I gotta fight you. Man, you ain't gotta do that shit. Especially not in school, cause boy, if you fight in school, it's over with. Like, like my freshman year. My freshman and sophomore year, if you fight, that's automatic 10 days and you fail the quarter. Like, they don't do that. They change it, but yeah, they should do that. You get into a fight, that's, all, that's 10 days, automatic fail every class you didn't did. Like, if you work so hard to get this math grade up to a C and you get into a fight, it's over with, bro. But yeah, they stopped doing that because a lot of motherfuckers was getting into fights and their grades was, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, they stopped doing that. But still, don't get into no fight to prove yourself to nobody. So yeah. And next thing for y'all dudes, man, don't be thirsty over females that don't want you. Like, don't please. It's gonna make you look so dumb in the long run. Like, don't be pressed over no females that don't want you. That's simple. Like, if you, you know what I'm saying? If you like a female, you know what I'm saying? You could like them, but I'll be a little too pressed over these females and they ain't even all that for real to be honest with you. But you know what I'm saying? So don't be pressed over no female. No female. Do not be pressed over no female that don't want you. That is number one thing. Do not be pressed over no female that don't want you. And that's it. Gotta turn the little pain, you feel me? But look though. Oh yeah, this is another thing. Don't like if you look. 
Say like y'all do, if y'all in a relationship, this will happen. Look, I guarantee, I guarantee this happened to a couple of y'all dudes, and this happened to me all the time. Not all the time, cause I don't, you know what I'm saying, I'm, but this happened to me. Not, this happened to me currently. But I don't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't entertain these females when you got a girlfriend. Don't do it. It's a setup. Don't do it. Don't do it. Cause go. Boy, I'm trying to tell you. Because look, some of these females is petty out here. Some of these females is real petty. I'm trying to tell you. It's like, they not gonna mess with you when you single. As soon as you get in that relationship, they wanna be, hey, buddy, 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 back up. I don't want nothing to do with you. Nope. I'm happy right now. I don't need, nah. I don't even wanna socialize myself around you. You know what I'm saying? Get back. Like ludicrous, get back. Y'all know me like that. Y'all know me like that. Type shit. But yeah. Don't entertain these females, bro, because they gonna get you. They gonna get you caught up. But still, man, like these females are try to one minute, they don't want you when you sing it. But as soon as you're in a relationship, they all they all of a sudden want you. Like that's so backwards. Like, that's backwards. Don't do that, man. Be happy with your girl, man. But, and for these freshmen, I see it a lot. I see it a lot, and I ain't even gonna lie. I was like this. I was like this. My I was like this my freshman year. But don't take it the wrong way when I say it. But look, don't think you tough and be soft. Mind you, I'm not soft at all. I know how to stand my ground. But look, some of y'all freshmen be thinking y'all real tough. They be trying to. Y'all beat your word to a motherfucker. Actually, you say it to that one nigga that don't give a fuck and go down your jaw. You know what I'm saying? Then you gonna be looking stupid. Like, boy, if you saying you tough, you better back it up. Cause once you find that right one, boy, I'm trying to tell you, it's gonna be over with. I'm trying to tell you, boy, y'all gonna be looking real dumb if y'all find that right one. Don't think you tough and be soft. That's all you gotta say. And look, man, look. This is most like if y'all if y'all don't get anything off this video, please get this. And this is for freshmen, sophomore, juniors, and seniors, bro. Look, don't flex nothing that you got. I'm telling you, do not flex with money, jewelry. You know what I'm saying? If you got a car, multiple phones, or none of that, man. Don't flex, cause I'm trying to tell you, once you flex, motherfuckers gonna wanna start fucking with you. And then, in the long run, they gonna try to set your ass up and try to get you, you know what I'm saying? So, don't, do not flex. Do not flex nothing that you got. Keep it on the down low, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers probably, motherfuckers will test you too. They be like, bro, you broke. You ain't got nothing. Motherfuckers like, what? Man, I got all this and this and that. Pull out all that stuff, bam, they got your ass, boy. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Do not flex, cause they gonna get you. Mothers grimy from where I'm at. I seen it. I seen it happen to a lot of them. They come to school flexing. Blah, 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 blah. Got your ass. And the last thing. This is the most key. This is the most key. The most key, man. You gotta, you gotta have this to yourself. You know what I'm saying? This not even for fresh. I mean, this mostly for freshmen. You gotta dress to him. I'm trying to tell you, you gotta have a little drip, you gotta have a little sauce to you. You know what I'm saying? You come in looking busted. No. I'm trying to tell you, like, you gotta you gotta have some drip to you. You gotta know how to dress. Because if you don't, if you don't know how to dress and you know how to talk to like trying to talk to a female, she won't. See this nigga got on? Get out of my face. I'm trying to tell you, boy. You gotta learn how to, you gotta have some drip to you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have some drip. You gotta have some drip to you. Cause if you ain't got no drip, you dry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta have some drip to you. And yeah, man. You gotta have some drip. You gotta have some drip to you. That's, that's a lot to say, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have, that's the most key though. You should be waking up. Oh, I gotta get this. Just like you know what I'm saying, but yeah, and yeah, it's like 
I mean, you gotta have some drip, though. Because you ain't got no drip. What's the point of going to school? Your ass gonna be looking busted every damn day. But yeah, man. That's what you gotta do. Day by day. Night by night. Yeah. Alright, y'all, man. That was it for the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all got something out of this. You know what I'm saying? Because... Like, I, you know what I'm saying? A little advice going to your little freshman year, man. Because if y'all take a couple of things I said out this video with y'all, y'all gonna be cool, man. Y'all gonna be cool for the rest of y'all high school years, bro. I'm trying to tell you, y'all gonna be real cool. Real cool. So, yeah, man, if y'all enjoyed this video, man, hit that like button, comment. And if you're new to my channel, you already know what to do. Hit that bell, subscribe to me. Follow my social media, they'll be in the description below. And yeah, man, it's your boy C Dub two times. And I'm out, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drop addicts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah.